inspired by these two works I thought how about making one big gorgeous flower we're starting by just adding water into our um, paper <laughs> and I'm just gonna grab some colors in a second and we're gonna just mix it up and we'll see what kind of tulipy something we will have um, so I'm adding this color there we go a little bit of pink right then a little bit of purple then how about this bluey color then how about this red in here how about some yellow as well and let's just grab water and let's see what will happen how gorgeous this could turn out I wonder now I'm gonna grab the other brush which is like I'm gonna have a chance to have a more loosened effect as in like something like that so I can just with my uh, the brush that it's like um, sharp at the end I can actually do something with it so I love this color a rainbow we is it tulip could we say it it's tulip like yeah sure we can say it's tulip it's not but it <laughs> can be right I guess it's just a loose flower and that's it I, I guess that's the safest to to say I love it I genuinely love it uh, and I think what's beautiful about it is like if you try it for yourself you're gonna have a completely different flower than I have right now and that's the most beautiful part of this process okay love this now we're gonna grab some uh, green I guess in wait a second how about I'm gonna just have a touch of water here so for our leaves kind of, kind of thing right and I'm gonna have like a there we go like a line there and let's see oops that's not that color <laughs> one second green one and how about a green going here and there lovely imagine look at this color here going wow <gasps> I adore this mixture now super pretty super pretty now let's grab um well let's grab brush again let's have a little bit of down here a little bit there and let's just there we go let's just add it in places oh I love the movement I like that very much okay so pretty <laughs> uh, such a tiny stem and such a big uh, head of our <laughs> of our um, a flower oh I have my green I was looking for it where are you my green I was thinking it's here so there we go um, there we go I'm gonna just have a bit of a play here and I will add some water in here because there was no water added so let's just have a touch here there we go I guess we can have this slightly running down as well right already Oh, I love it so much this is such a gorgeous idea to just loosen up and just go for it and it's my first flower of this kind as in a color the size what I'm doing right now even like now creating these very weird leaves do you know what just I think you have to just sit down with the brush sit down with your with your things and just go for the strokes and just do it you, that's exactly what you have to do just you just have to start painting you know you can't just sit down and hope that things will magically be you will learn them just by looking at tutorials of mine or other people like stop looking at the tutorials pause it get your supplies out please and I promise you it will pay off. You will completely love it. Look at it. It is so stunning that I'm I'm really stressed of what to do next. As in, should I dry it? Should I leave it to dry itself? Should I doodle on it? Should I add, should I leave it as it is? I honestly don't know. I never done flower like this. I'm not even sure it looks like a flower, right? <laughs> 
but it's so gorgeous it is such a gorgeousness thing i just love it i think what i would probably do is i'm gonna doodle and just outline when everything is dry but i will leave this to dry naturally so the color is not gonna be moving and yeah i'm gonna be back to in a few minutes okay i hope you'll be back i hope don't please don't go anywhere i'll be back when it's really naturally dry i don't want to speed it up because it's gonna have a different look oh, i love this mixture like everything is dry let's do a little bit of doodles i think i think i would love to have this doodled even a bit you know because at the end of the day it's the doodles that actually makes me happy about my paintings. Do you know what's my biggest problem always have been? I probably could do a little bit of lovely painting, but then when it comes to little lines with the brush, that's where I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm, struggling. And I think figured it out that I can actually cheat and do drawings, doodlings and little lines with my pen. That makes so easier to think about uh, doodling, drawing, because I'm not feeling this intimidated anymore, because I can do pretty doodles and have this gorgeousness design, uh, just then not with the brush. And you know what? That's okay. Um, I, I don't tend to call myself professional or anything, so I think it's it's fine if you just wish to do however it feels right. So that's exactly what I'm doing. It feels right to just have um, a doodles uh, with my pen. I love my pen. So why not? So that's what I'm doing right now, doodling. <laughs> oh, how pretty. How cute. I'm, I'm quite delicate, I have to say, today with that. I think I I think I would love ha to have a little bit of like loose doodle sort of thing happening here. Let's try. It's definitely abstract. It's nearly like a parrot looking flower. <laughs> it's like a pa parrot um it looks like, to me like a parrot wing or parrot feather okay i love this do you know what it is abstract it is mine it is gorgeousness and i would love you to try it so please do promise me that you will try it and it's so funny because after um i'll show you after i finished this video I really really wanted to do something else and I did I've done this one and then I feel that after this one I really wish to do something else so possibly after I will finish off with doodling here I may just uh, start one more video so <laughs> I really love this I'm gonna do a little doodles here I hope you can see on both cameras on both cameras a little doodles here in in that there we go there we go there we go now how pretty is that there we go now doodles always always make an, a huge difference you know and I'm right now in this moment that I'm thinking, Marta, don't destroy it. Marta, don't overdo it. Don't overthink it. Just be mindful of what you're doing because you're just stepping in the very delicate uh, moment where it's like too much. It's going to be too much. I think I'm done. The only thing I'm going to do is being here a little bit, maybe finish that a little and that's it I think I just love this quirky flower it is so fun I'm gonna repeat it maybe change the design maybe I don't know maybe come up with some other sort of shape for that flower whatever I'm gonna come up with I just totally love it you know what I just love it I hope you like it as well but the mixture of this color is phenomenal like you would not redo it if you even try your best it's never gonna be exactly the same it's such a big surprise of the pigment and i love it okay i think i'm 
I feel I'm kind of done with that here. So, yeah, am I? I think so. Closer to the center, closer to the center. Now, there we go. I just love it so much. Thank you so much, my friends. Uh, there will be no background for this one. I think I'm going to leave it as it is because it's so gorgeousness. I'm just going to take the tapes away because I probably will use them again. Sure, why not? Sometimes it's impossible and sometimes it's totally okay because they are workable. And there we go. Oh, I love this. It is so cute. Okay. Where are you going? <laughs> That's it, my friends. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope it was inspirational little tutorial for you with the quirky flower. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what do you think. Happy crafting and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.